everyone welcome once again to cooking with tita right here in my kitchen today i would like to share my mexican style pickled vegetable it's cabiche so come on cook with tita and let's go through our ingredients jalapenos a lot of jalapenos that is entirely up to you how much jalapenos but for me i love this um pickled vegetable so i have carrots i already chopped up my carrots like half an inch thick okay like that now like i said entirely up to you how much you're going to put the vegetable that is okay and i have some celery and i also chop it up like this i have one large white onion or yellow onion Okay, you can use red onion if you want to. Okay, over here we have enough pot or pan to hold our ingredients. I already put two cups of water and then I will measure up two white vinegar into that water. That's that. And then we will need container, glass container. But if you don't have glass container, use food grade plastic or Tupperware to store your pickled vegetable, okay? In the refrigerator, okay? You can, you know, keep this in the refrigerator for a long time, okay? As long as it's done right, okay? So, with that note, we're going to put one fourth cup salt in here. You're probably gonna say, that's a lot. Now remember, we wanna store this for a long time without getting spoiled, okay? Now, let me tell you about this. Um, I cleaned this up, I already washed this. And the way I prepare my jalapeno, by the way, I poked it through so that the mixture can get inside, okay? All right, so all of that, okay? Both sides, two insertion or two cuts. So anyway, I have whole peppercorn, either white or black. We're going to put that in here. And we have some bay leaves we're also gonna put that in here all right we have one teaspoon black pepper ground black pepper one teaspoon of ground common seeds okay ground okay so we're going to put that in here and then we're going to let this mixture boiled all right and then when we get done boiling i will show you what to do with it okay by the way i forgot to tell you that you have to mix your um mixture like so okay we're gonna cover that we don't want the acidity of our vinegar to escape so let's boil that medium let's cover it all right we'll say 10 minutes we're gonna turn on our timer for 10 minutes all right guys our mixture is boiling uh -huh. 10 minutes so we're gonna turn it low and still cover it i just wanted to show it to you okay and then we're going to put all of our vegetable in there okay okay every vegetables in here like so all right so now we're going to push everything down into the liquid so that they can um, submerge into the liquid right this is the very important process now guys 
you cover it crank it up to medium again like we did before okay it has been six minutes and it's already uh, start um, bubbling again so don't leave it any more longer than that only when it bubbles back okay and then shut him off kind of push the vegetable down there all right guys if you can smell this so so delicious anyway cover it okay cover it until it's absolutely cool off okay don't touch it no more okay just cover it leave it there until it gets cold off so that's what it looks like and then what we're gonna do we're going to transfer this in here mm, smells so good guys smells so good and let me tell you this is delicious you know i like to have um this thing as side dish so delish okay let's put this in here just in case we um made a bubble and now we're going to oh yeah just right see what i mean guys see what i mean so mm, so aromatic now put everything in okay i don't know if i told you about cracking your um black paper or white paper before you put it in your mixture but that's what you have to do okay so the the um you know the taste or the aroma would come out from the paper corn okay anywho check this out guys this is how much we have right okay so put them in a refrigerator and you can literally keep that for up to a couple months okay but it has to have enough liquid to cover your you know carrots and so on and so forth in there right anywho check this out you see you see how tender that is but not too tender what i'm saying is really firm okay and juicy inside see okay and the carrots itself it's really yummy and still nice and al dente okay mm, so yummy celery and our onion mm, yum yum now let me tell you about the um why we poked a hole on our chili or jalapeno right so when you poke a hole or you make a slit on your chili the mixture or the liquid would go inside the um you know and flavor the whole thing okay but it's not gonna be overcooked right so but you can also leave it uh, whole or whatever you want it gets a little bit more um spicy when you don't poke a hole okay so but yes it's so delicious guys mm. eat it with everything anywho mm. easy good side dish it goes with everything or anything anywho guys i shared my escabeche or pickled vegetable mixed vegetable jalapeno and uh, you know so on and so forth 
So, I hope you like it. Enjoy it. So good. And I will see you again right here in my kitchen when you cook with your tita. As I always say, bon appetit. Bye.